right, so we are getting the fall garden beds prepped. We pulled all the squash. My wife raked up everything. We got all of it pulled up in a bucket. The, the zucchini did so good for us this year. My, my wife made a ton of zucchini bread. Um, we gave a bunch away. Um, that eight ball zucchini was a prolific producer. Um, I think we will do less next year just because it kind of went over the sides or maybe we'll, we'll do the same now. I, 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 I put a lot of seedlings in and we produced a lot. So we're getting everything prepped for our cabbage and our broccoli and everything. We got a bunch of cardboard I've been saving. Um, we're gonna be doing the lasagna method where we're gonna be putting cardboard down and that's gonna act as maybe kind of a weedy barrier a little bit, but more than anything, it's gonna you know produce a lot of worm casings. Worms are gonna be drawn to this. Every time we dig something up or move a pot, we have worms, worms, worms everywhere. Um, so worms are good. The castings, their their poop produces nitrogen. Um, I think I'm gonna put some green beans in here after we get this seeded, just to pump a bunch of nitrogen in here before we put the cabbage. It's still too early for us to put cabbage in because it's so hot still. Uh, but we just want to get everything prepped um, so that we have our broccoli and our cabbage beds ready. And this is what we do every year. Um, the, the cabbage and the broccoli and the cauliflower and stuff. But this will be the first year we've had as much dirt and as much cardboard in here. So uh, my wife's going to be the cameraman and uh, got six 40 pound bags of compost to move back there to top this stuff off. So I'll put you on time lapse and y'all can watch this. I think I'm recording. Am um, I recording? How do you know? Red in the front. You see red in the front? Yeah, you're recording. You're recording? Mm -hmm. So we're going to lay this cardboard down. We get a lot of Amazon boxes, so I try to recycle as many as I can. But I saved this big one for the garden beds. And I got six 40 pound bags of compost. And uh, I'm going to put three in each. That's about. Don't be afraid to overlap. How long does it take for the cardboard to break down? Pretty quick. Cardboard breaks down pretty quick. I mean, like I said, most people do this. Most people will do this every time they redo a bed. If they use the same uh, method, they'll take and they'll put cardboard down every time they're about to replant something. But it'll last long enough and it'll serve its purpose. It won't stunt the growth of the plants with the root systems? No. Once you get that cardboard wet, it's going to start to rot pretty much immediately. And uh, roots are not going to have a problem because whenever we dig the holes, we're going to poke through it anyway. So, shouldn't be an issue. Like today, we'll water it in. And so, to reiterate, you're going to poke a hole through the cardboard to plant your plants. So, the plants yeah. and the root systems will yeah. be underneath right, the yeah. cardboard. Right. So, once you get it wet, you know how cardboard is, it pretty mm -hmm. much turns to mush. And it'll last long enough to where it'll give what we're planting a head start of the weeds to outgrow the weeds. But like I said, this is not a uh, a weed barrier. If we wanted to do a weed barrier, we'd buy the weed, the weeds from it, you know? But this is a cheap way to do it. It's accomplishing everything we want it to. And it's going to attract worms and all the other stuff to break down all the other stuff. Because look in this, look in this compost. I love growing compost. <clears throat> I don't remember last time we just bought garden soil. You know, we grow everything in, in compost. And these bags are four dollars a bag at Lowe's and Home Depot. These are from Lowe's. And uh, forty pound bag of garden soil. 
it's gonna be ten dollars on sale probably you know so four dollars a bag plus you're getting all the manure wood chips everything you want in your soil you know i mean we can even add to this we can add more wood chips we can do whatever we want to this but you can smell that manure is breaking down in there and it's this great soil and everything we have in our garden right now is basically grown in compost And we'll smooth this out. I just want to get it covering the cardboard. It's, the co it's kind of windy. It's the cardboard doesn't blow away. But uh, these um, these garden beds, I think the total cost to make these garden beds is less than fifty dollars. Um, I'm gonna do a video on these. I got some people that have been interested in making some more garden beds for their house that are small. And uh, all it is is two ten foot two by twelves. And an eight foot two by four that is it i didn't i didn't break up the bottom i didn't put a covering so this is just a border for the soil that's all it is and you can make it for less than 50 50 dollars we want to take uh, some cattle panels and go over the top this next summer next spring plug our green beans and stuff and it'll kind of shade our uh, squash and zucchini and stuff so it's going to really be effective so you got six foot this way and four foot that way now the cattle panels come four or five foot uh, heights so I can cut them and make them fit uh, but it's gonna come out really nice so but uh I'll put you on time lapse while we do the other one and uh, we'll go around and look at what's still alive if you look around we kind of tore up most of our tomato plants we still have our peppers um, we still have our okra I'm even told that uh, by Tyler at Oak Farms they wanted to we could plant tomato uh, seedlings again and get another row of you know fall tomatoes so, but yeah like i said we'll put you on time lapse and we'll uh we'll get the other one set up so if y'all are enjoying this video make sure you like it subscribe share it to your friends um i don't know a lot but what i do know i will share and uh, if i'm wrong or if you want to see me do it a different way let me know in the comment section and uh, i'm always willing to try new things we have enough space here that we can do all kinds of stuff so let me know All right, so that's all there is to it. We got both beds prepped. Uh, like I said, we're gonna water those in. And uh, I think about using some bush beans as a cover crop until you know I get ready to plant our fall stuff. It just stays so hot down here in Texas, this part of Texas anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a quick one. Uh, but you know, like I said, like and subscribe, share it with your friend, and I'll tell you what, if there's someone in my area, I live in Southeast or South Houston, um, if it wants one of these garden beds made, I will personally come to your house and make you one if you want to supply $50 from materials. I'll go get all the supplies, come to your house, I'll do a video of it, you can be in it, um, and we'll make you one of these or two of these, whatever you want. If you're going to make one, might as well make two. So how about that? So let me know in the bottom in the comments and DM on my Instagram if y'all want. Uh, someone who's interested in uh, putting a couple of these in their backyard and getting them, you know, to where they can grow in the back, grow in the backyard like we do. So I'll see y'all next time.